Hello everybody, this is Toys R Us and for this educational video, because hopefully that's what it's going to be, I'm going to be discussing with yourselves um, Optimus Primes, but not just any Optimus Prime, uh, Generation 1 Optimus Primes. Um, and the reason for this is, this is one of the most asked questions that I get. It's about, um, usually it's about value, but I don't really want to discuss value with these because it's all subjective depending where you live and how you piece it together, etc, etc. Um, and, and I suppose rarity as well. Right, what's the rarest Optimus Primes? Now, what I believe or what I have here is what I believe to be the three rarest generation one Optimus Primes. Um, and the reason for that is down to the figures. There's, there's, there is an incredibly rare Yugoslavian packaged one that I do not have. And there's probably others as well. So this is completely subjective. So again, anybody in the comments, if I'm totally wrong, please do let me know because it's only going to help me um, and everybody else reading in the comments. So the reason that I get asked about this is because unfortunately there is is an absolute abundance of generation one optimus prime figures obviously some of the rarer ones which some of the terminology that people are going to understand straight away is pre-rub and that means that they came out in 1984 and all that that basically means is that they won't have a rub sign on there on the back of their head whereas this one's my old battered one and it would have had a rub sign it's just come off so that is one of the easiest ways to sort of tell how early your Optimus Prime was. So if you hear or you read anything and you're seeing that it's Generation 1 and they put pre-rub and you didn't know what that means, it means it's pre-rub signs. Uh, so it's, of course, one of the first releases of that particular figure. Because obviously in 1985, they started putting rub signs on their figures just to basically differentiate them from knockoffs and, of course, from Gobots because Gobots were doing really well at that particular time. Uh, so if it had a rub sign on, it was an authentic transformer. So all of these three are pre-rub and they are, again, what I believe to be the rarest. And for the reasons I'm going to explain is because I think a lot of people know, obviously, that Transformers came from Diaclone, Microman and Microchange, etc. And of course, he was known as Convoy in Japan before he was known as anything else. So I've got three here. Now, these three, I keep saying three, sorry. These are all error boxes. So straight away, um, that signifies that the packaging is worth a lot. That signifies that the packaging is very, very rare because, um, and then loads of people I know who have not seen any of my videos or not seen anything like this before are probably going to run and go and check their figures or their boxes, shall we say. So the original one, the pre-rub boxes with the error, there is the radar dish on the bottom. Now, I just will quickly direct you to the individual videos on these. This is just a quick Jet like general me saying it all. So, yep, that is a genuine printing error. And obviously they realised, you see where it's come through on the bottom? They did obviously realise and they did correct that in time. Also, there's none of the uh, white borders around these individual boxes. And also because it was a pre-rub figure, it will say TM on the, just after Transformers, it won't have the R, like all of the standard R. So these three here, they're all error boxes, but they are all still completely different variants. And I know that sounds crazy, um, <laughs> that, they, that there is. So this one is what's known as the bloated part and metal plates. Now, I'm not gonna take this out of the box, but I'm gonna show you a trailer, but can you see here, you've got metal plates inside the trailer. And the reason for the metal plates inside the trailer was again, before the, he was a Transformer, um, he was a Diaclone figure, and the Diaclone figures had pilots, drivers, whatever you want to say. And that's why Optimus Prime, you pull it down, that's why the seat's there, because he had a pilot, he had a driver. And the feet, sorry, and the feet of the little pilots were metal, which meant that they were magnetic. So the normal standard trailer, there you go, no holes anywhere at all, just a completely plastic trailer. But obviously, if you imagine if this had metal plates in there like so, you fold this out and the little drivers, again, who would pilot this because they could sit inside there, they would all, they wouldn't fall over. <laughs> it's, it's way better than blue tack with little figures like I have to sometimes do with my MicroMasters. Their magnetic feet would stay in the trailer because again, this was a play base. It was exactly that. So it had metal plates on the trailer. So just very quickly again, once again, I will remind you that there is a separate video in more detail showing this. But can you see there the holes in the trailer and the lack of holes in the standard ones? Now, the other thing that the metal plates came with is, so this is before the reissues, before any of these, came with a legitimate grey roller. So it had the silver, rather, it had the silver roller. And also another thing, telltale to give away that it is an original, is it was came with what's known as 
bloated parts. So because there's a grey roller, it had grey missiles, but the parts were bloated. And it's a strange, I suppose, explanation. Um, all I can do is just show, you know, obviously they're completely different colours. These are your standard missiles. Let's get the white in the background so you can see. They just look normal. Now, these are what's classed as bloated. So you can see they look thicker, they look fatter. And yeah, for want of a better word, it looks bloated. So even if this was black, some of them have been black bloated parts. Um, it's exactly that. It looks quite a bit bigger. Now, the one where it's really, really apparent how much bigger it is, is with his, with his gun. His gun is um, huge compared to the original. I mean, bloated is not a word. It, it does. It looks pretty much fake. It looks like a knockoff. It's got loads of thick extra bits of plastic on it. Um, there is a standard one and there is the bloated one. So that's one of the rarest. So it's the error box, metal plates, bloated parts. So I hope that made a bit of sense. Um, then I've got underneath, I've got two, which are the, the cabs, the cabs are different, but the, uh, truck trailer, sorry, the, yeah, the, whatever you want to call it, the, the trailer cab is completely different. So let's move this out of the way. So that's, as I say, a standard one. Now this one is what's known as, it's still got your error box. So you've still got the, uh, radar dish at the bottom. You've still got the missing parts there and you've still got the TM Now you probably can't make it out here, but you, the parts in there are light blue. Now, anybody who's got any of the old catalogs uh, with the Transformers, again, I've got this in a video, I've got it separate. You fold them all out and the parts do look like a light blue. And you think, is this a printing error? Is it something? It is not. It is because they came with light blue parts. So a clear way to just show you this. There is a standard dark blue Optimus Prime trailer. And there is your light blue parts. Now that's really, really apparent right there, which you can see. Uh, the missiles and everything were the same, as in same sizes, uh, same colors, but the parts in the trailer. And of course, now there you go. Now you're gonna see how really apparent it is, the parts on the roller. And again, this is before generation two. So this is the original, not the generation two blue roller, which came, um, it, it was slightly different shade of blue as well, to be honest. So there you go. So we've got, error box with light blue parts now we've also got something which is completely crazy and this i think this is definitely the rarest cab you don't see many of these at all anywhere and again queue loads of people running to go check their actual figures uh, but all of your figures optimus primes unless you're very very lucky will have for want of a better word nipples these teeny little nipples right there at the bottom of his bumper so the one at the bottom is an error box again but it's an error box with blue parts and a smooth bumper and the bumper is totally smooth so you can see there yeah you've got your square cutouts but nowhere on the bumper are the nipples there you go so that is uh to my knowledge figure wise the three rarest generation one optimus prime figures so just a quick recap they are all definitely 1984 products because they're pre-rub they have the tm on the box trademark before they got the registered trademark and they all had r uh, they haven't got the uh, thing around there with the white borders there's something else as well i can't think there is something else but uh again it's in the more detailed video and of course you've got the radar dish coming at the bottom because of course as soon as they start as soon as they realized that the radar dish at the bottom they corrected it because it is a printing error uh, then, of course, they were licensed products. They changed the TMs to R. And, of course, as I've mentioned about the rub signs at the beginning. So this is just one of the crazy rabbit holes that I went down. There is many other Optimus Prime Generation 1 videos on here. Again, depends on your location. Of course, the Japanese original is rare. He's known as Convoy and he's got the Super Launcher. There's a video on that on here. Um, the Canadian one's obviously got different languages. French and Canadian. There's a Say J4 language one I've done a video on. There is an abundance of Optimus Primes, but I get asked the most, what do I think um, are the rarest? And I pretty much think they are for the reasons that I've said. Again, guys, correct me in the comments if I'm totally wrong. And also, I'd like to know if this is the sort of video that you'd like to see. I wanted to do this as much as possible, trying to educate people, show people variants, help people identify their products, because it is a crazy minefield out there. But I really hope you enjoyed this. 
um, and it's actually a pleasure because it's the first time I've been able to put these all together um, as one like this because in the older videos I did I didn't have one or the other and I've managed to complete the collection of all three but there you go guys let me know what you think in the comments take care